Hey everybody, Max here. As you can see, I'm by myself today in the 7 Sports Cave. Mike is actually out on assignment, but we're here to make money in the bank picks. Um, I was not here two weeks ago, and Mike is not here this week, so hopefully we'll be back together soon. But uh, let's let's hear from Mike really quickly. Yeah, I'm down here in the Edit Bay this week. I'm on assignment. Uh, I had to record my picks earlier in the week, so any additions to the card, uh, we'll just have to add those in at the end. Thanks, Mike. I will. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. We'll start with the pre-show match that was added late, so we won't actually make picks on this. The Hype bro Bros versus the Colognes. Um, just a quick kind of pre-show match. It was added when Zack Ryder appeared on SmackDown earlier this week, and from there, um, you know, they, they added this match late. Next, we'll go to the women's title match. It's uh, Lana against the champion Naomi. Now, I. I've got to go with Naomi here. I don't think there's any reason why Naomi should lose this title. I know they just introduced Lana. There's nothing that I see, you know, for the, I don't see any reason for her to, to take this title, to win this title. They've built Naomi up so much. They gave it back to her at WrestleMania after her injury. So I just, I think Naomi's got to win this title. I don't know about anybody else, but I, I think it's got to be Naomi. It, it, I'm sorry, Naomi. Mike, what are you thinking? Yeah, I'm going to go with a little bit of a shock value in this one. I'm actually going to take Lana to win the SmackDown Live women's title in, in a shock and an upset. Uh, if they make all this big deal about bringing her back and then just have her lose right away, it doesn't really make much sense. But I think in doing so, I think this is where we see the return of Rusev. I think Rusev comes out, makes an appearance, maybe causes a distraction. Lana wins by some kind of maybe a cheap roll-up, something like that. And Lana shocks the world and wins the SmackDown Live women's title. A shocking pick. You know what? I, I think a lot of people may think that. It's, it's interesting that they brought Lana back. And I can understand her winning the title and building it up. And I do like the idea of Rusev as well. Next, we'll go to the tag team title match. It's the New Day, who uh, just returned to SmackDown, not returned, I'm sorry, who just arrived on SmackDown Live. Their first big match coming against the Usos, who are the champions. Um, I think New Day is going to win this title. They love New Day. You know, they had them get the reign. Why not make them be the first tag, the first tag team who, also, who held Raw tag team titles and SmackDown tag team titles? I think they're going to end the Usos' reign, and, you know, we're going to start a new reign with the now three-time world tag team champions the new day mike yeah i don't really have a whole lot to say with this one i do think the usos will retain uh the new day have only been on smackdown for a couple of weeks now now that kofi's back from his surgery i think it's a little too soon for the new day to win the titles i think uh it could be something where maybe the Usos uh, use distraction to their advantage, kind of get a cheap win, and the New Day stay in the hunt. Uh, we'll see what happens now that Zack Ryder's back on SmackDown. Maybe the Hype Bros get involved somewhere down the line. Uh, maybe we have some kind of multi-tag team match at SummerSlam. Um, but I do think the Usos will retain here. Interesting. I mean, I, I can see that. Um, the Usos are a good tag team, and I, I would I, I'd like the idea of building two more matches instead of just those two from there. Next, we'll go to the match I'm probably most excited about, the Women's Money in the Bank match. We have Becky Lynch, Charlotte, Carmella, Natalia, and Tamina. Um, I know, Mike, you talked to Becky Lynch a while ago about a possible Money in the Bank match. Now we have it, so I'm sure she is excited. For this one, I'm going to go with Charlotte. I mean, she is the queen. She is the... The, the greatest female wrestler of all time, in my opinion. And she she had the history of the pay-per-view going on, and I believe that they'll also make her have history when it comes to the first Women's Money in the Bank match. I mean, she's going to carry around that briefcase. It's going to be a great time, and then she can cash it in whenever. And I believe when she does cash it in, she will win her title. It's also going to be interesting where they place this match, if it's going to be, in my opinion, before or after the title. Because if it comes after the women's title match, then there's no chance for a cash in when the match is over. But if it comes before that, it, you know, the winner could cash it in. Uh, Mike, how, who do you think wins this match? Yeah, this is a match I'm really, really excited about. Uh, I actually got a chance to meet Becky Lynch back in March at Wizard World in Cleveland. And uh, during her panel, I actually asked her, with Money in the Bank being a SmackDown pay-per-view this year, if we might get to see the first ever women's money in the bank match. She said that was definitely something she would want to be a part of, except she joked that she would be the champion, so she wouldn't actually be a part of it, but was definitely in favor of it. So I'm thrilled that they're finally going through with it this year. And 
maybe it's just my heart thinking with my head, but I'm going to take Becky Lynch to win this match. Uh, and I've heard a few other people uh, uh, throw this out here, and I kind of like the theory, and I'm, I'm good to go with it too, that maybe Becky down the line uses the briefcase and uses a cash-in to finally turn heel. We've, of course, yet to see her as a heel on the main roster. We got a little taste of it in NXT. I think she could be great, and... Uh, as we've seen in the past, a Money in the Bank cash-in is a great way to turn somebody heel. And I think if Becky wins, maybe that's how they finally do it somewhere down the line. I know you love some Becky Lynch, and, and that would be fun. As you know, I'm a Becky Lynch fan as well. I would be excited to see that. Um, I just I don't see anyone de dethroning Charlotte and, and taking away history from her. Uh, we'll go to the men's Money in the Bank match, the classic Money in the Bank match that happens every year. This year, it's, it's got a great lineup. We have <clears throat> the phenomenal AJ Styles, Baron Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Shinsuke Nakamura. For this one, I mean, I'm going to go with my guy, Baron Corbin. I love Baron Corbin. I've always been a big fan of him. We were at the NXT show about a year and a half ago in Royal Oak, and I was the only person cheering. I think this match benefits him. Um, it's, it's a way for him to kind of climb that ladder and grab the briefcase while everyone else is battling or has kind of destroyed each other. And then I would love to see Baron Corbin kind of hold that briefcase for as long as he can and just taunt people with it, taunt people of, could I cash this in, could I not cash this in, and then see where it goes from there. Mike, who do you got? Uh, yeah, of course, the Money in the Bank ladder match, always one of my favorites every year. And uh, always a good time to pull a surprise. Uh, I think, I don't know, I think they finally do Sami Zayn here. I think Sami Zayn does win the match. I'm a little worried that if Sami Zayn does win Money in the Bank that he joins the likes of John Cena and Damian Sandow down the road as being one of the guys who cashes in but doesn't win the title. Uh, they've just booked him as such the lovable loser that you know maybe they give you the tease of success with him winning the Money in the Bank briefcase. But then when he finally cashes in, he doesn't get to have his big moment. I'm, I'm a little worried that that's maybe how they book it down the road. Uh, but I do think Sami Zayn becomes Mr. Money in the Bank. You know, I would not be mad if Sami Zayn won this match. You know, the guy has been through so much. And he's been on a winning streak lately, which is something that we don't see a lot when it comes to Sami Zayn. He's a guy who's always taking falls, always getting losses. But, you know, he's the lovable underdog. Finally, we will go to the WWE title match. Randy Orton in his hometown of St. Louis, if they haven't let you know that enough, uh, against Jinder Mahal, the modern-day Maharaja, as they call him. For me, I just I don't see Randy Orton winning this match. Uh, they put the title on Jinder Mahal for a reason. I actually picked Jinder Mahal to win. I'm not sure why I did it, but I was right. Um, there's no use in putting the title on him for a month only to have him re-lose it to Randy Orton and then have to get a rematch. I think the feud ends after this and Jinder kind of goes off into his own program and we'll see what goes from there. Mike? Well, unfortunately, I think uh, we're not going to be hindering Jinder. Uh, we're going to continue not hindering Jinder here. I think his title reign continues. Jinder will retain. Uh, maybe Randy Orton wins via DQ, uh, but Jinder retains the title. I mean, of course, you can you can go with the whole rule about uh, WWE booking not being kind to babyface champions, especially in their hometown. Uh, they've made a big deal about this being in St. Louis and Randy Orton's hometown. Um, I just don't see him winning the title back here. Maybe the feud continues to SummerSlam. I could maybe see another match there, but I think Jinder's going to hold on. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I just don't see anyone taking the title from gender. Um, but from there, you know, that's the card. It should be fun. Mike, uh, do you have any final thoughts? Yeah, Money in the Bank, uh, always one of my favorite pay-per-views of the year behind uh, WrestleMania and the Royal Rumble. Money in the Bank, always right up there. Money in the Bank ladder match, almost always delivers something fun. Uh, it's hard to say... Uh, you know, what might be match of the night. I mean, often the Money ben money in the Bank ladder match is the match of the night. I really hope the women's Money in the Bank match gets to live up to its full potential. Uh, and uh, I'm really excited to see what happens with that. I'm Again, I'm really excited that that's uh, going to be part of it moving forward now. So hopefully um, should be a fun show. Looking forward to it. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm excited for this. It's going to be a fun night. It's Father's Day. I'll be celebrating with my dad, Jim. Uh, and then my brother and I will sit up and watch the, the match tonight. And it should be good. I'm, you know, like, we, we have a lot of differences. This might be the first time we've differed on this many picks, but it's also sort of the card with 
the different people and all the different wrestlers and money in the bank in the two money in the bank matches but it's going to be a fun watch tomorrow night or sunday night um, and then we'll look forward to the great balls of fire pay-per-view with uh what could be a fantastic match between brock lesnar and samoa joe so for mike i will say thank you guys for watching i'm max and we'll see you soon